So, though I got mine, well, I mean, you know, it, I, I kind of already had some, but comment your snack that you got right spring now. Spring break 2016. Right. Three friends and I were a little too late to book a worthwhile spring break trip, like in Cancun or Miami or something like that. So right. we did what we thought was the next best thing. We Airbnb a beach house in Georgia for a good price hey, last hey, minute. Hey, hey. The landlord left the key hidden in the plant on the front stoop. As soon as I unlocked the door and we stepped into the home, we could all agree there was a funky smell in the house. It's fucking for shit. Shit. That's a fucking red flag right there. And you, and you still don't go forward. Okay. You are... 30 seconds, the 38 seconds into this uh, video, and you already fucking up? Really? You couldn't, you couldn't go a whole minute, huh? You couldn't do it? That's just... Cool. Okay. Okay. It wasn't necessarily a bad smell. Yeah, it was. It was just weird. The house was big, though. It had a big first floor and huge second floor with four bedrooms. Right. We all had claim to our own room. We got there early in the day, so the sun was still out and strong. Okay. The three others, who I guess I'll introduce now, Todd, Nate, and Michael, were outside hanging on the beach. I went inside to look for a volleyball, because the landlord said there were a bunch of sports equipment in one of the upstairs closets. There was only one closet upstairs, though, so I checked it, and inside of it were things like badminton rackets, baseball gloves, frisbees, and a volleyball. Right. Exactly where the woman had described. When I shut the closet door, however, I realized the door to my bedroom was open. Oh, hmm. I had 100% closed it not even 15 minutes before. Oh, shit. I went outside to ask my friends which of them went in my room. I didn't make a big deal about it, but I had to ask because I found that to be a little annoying. They all claimed they didn't go in my room, so I moved past it. My ass. My ass, you move past it. My, no. No, I'm not, we're not doing this, okay? We're not doing this today. Okay? We're not. I can, I can, because from the jump off bucks, I knew you were the type of motherfucker that would kind of like sense the red flags, but not do nothing about it. You that type of motherfucker. That's not me. That's you. Yo ass. Yo, you fucking. Okay. Okay. I hope you get fucked up first. I wasn't going to let it bother me too much. What? When the sun went down, we all got dressed to go to nearby clubs, which were supposed to be crowded due to spring break. I split off a bunch of times to get drinks from the bartender that I found cute, thinking somehow I'd have a chance with her. Of course, I was just acting like a drunk idiot. I guess I'd been mixing my drinks a little too much, because at some point I started feeling really sick. Why? The house was walking distance from the club I was in, so I decided I'd walk to the house and see the rest of them tomorrow. When I got back to the front door, I put the key in the mailbox, as I told my friends I'd do if I left early. I made sure to lock the door behind me, and if any of my friends would come back, I'd assume they'd remember what I said. I went straight to the bathroom upstairs, where I sat by the toilet, waiting to puke. Huh. My head was spinning, but I just couldn't sum up the urge to finally puke. What? As I was sitting on the bathroom floor, I heard something outside. No, you didn't. Like something being dropped on the floor in one of the nearby bedrooms. No, stop. I stood up and peeked outside. I stepped into the center hallway. I noticed that the door to the room that Todd had claimed was cracked open. There was a small nightlight on in there. As I walked closer to the door, I noticed someone sitting on the bed. They were just sitting on the edge of the bed facing a wall. Was it Todd? I honestly couldn't tell at that point. 
It was only peeking through a tiny crack in the door. It really didn't look like Todd, though. Mm. And how would he have gotten in before me without the key? What I'm saying? In a split second, my heart started racing twice as fast as I was looking at someone who I started to believe wasn't Todd. Oh, shit. I started backing away slowly. And of course, there was the slightest crack in the wood floor. Oh, my God. The person sitting on the bed clicked their head to the left to face the door. And even through that tiny crack, I felt as if he was looking at me. It wasn't Todd. It was some random man who looked to be about 40. Damn. I ran to the bathroom and locked the door, not trying to be quiet anymore. To the bathroom. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of No. You need to get the hell out of that house. Fuck the bathroom. You know? And I understand that you're, you're feeling, you know, you're about to throw up. I understand that. But haul ass at the same goddamn time that you're throwing up. Talk about something. You need to be doing this shit. You run it. You run it. You run it. But you still want like come on. You can't be you can't you can't be playing games like that, bro. Damn the bathroom. You need to be outside the fucking house. You don't know who the hell that is. Damn the bathroom. Throw up throw up throw up outside. Like fuck. Damn. I tried calling my friend Todd, and as it was ringing, I saw the doorknob to the bathroom door pressed down slightly. Shit. The man on the other end was trying to open the door, but of course I locked it. I heard footsteps walking away until they faded away completely. Todd didn't pick up the phone, so I called the landlord. She didn't pick up either, so I finally called 911. I asked them to send a police officer because there was someone who wasn't supposed to be in the house. A police car came to the house within a few minutes, and I ran to the front door to answer it, asking the officer to look around the house with me. No, first of all, I felt like the landlord. I felt like that bitch is in cahoots with the motherfucker that's that's in the uh, that's in the shit, right? With the stranger. Second of all, um, yeah, how about you, police officer? Go ahead and then go, you know, investigate the shits. I'm going to be outside the house. Just, I'm not doing this shit with you. So, you know, you, you have enough training. You have enough experience where you can do this shit alone. Okay? You don't need me. I don't. You don't need me. I don't need you. I just need you to go ahead and check that shit out without me. I don't know. I don't really. I really don't know why that motherfucker is with the cop. So, I'm going to just yell. Um, th there you go again. Playing games and shit. Wasn't a huge house overall. Ouch. The first floor was a quick search. Under the couches, in the closets, in the cabinets. Then we went upstairs, checking all the bedrooms, under the beds, and what? those closets. It seemed clear. He made me fill out some report form, and he was on his way. I still locked myself in the bathroom until my friends rang the bell. What the fuck are you doing? What? I mean, with like, that's a genuine question. What the fuck are you doing? Huh? I hate that. I hate when shit gets stuck in my teeth. I, Cause I do, I do this shit. I hate that. I find that shit so funny when people do that, and they be like, I, find, "I don't know why, but I find that shit really funny." Let me know if you feel the same. Way. Um, what? So after everything is said and done, and after the police officer said said and did what he did, you still gonna go back in the house and hide in the motherfucker back? Yeah, I really hope you get fucked. No condom necessary. With all of them back, I finally felt safe. No, what? When I told them what happened, they were all in shock. The next day, I called the landlord and told her. And she sounded very distraught after I described the man. Oh, did she? She sounded confident that her crazy ex-boyfriend had somehow broken into the house. I fucking knew it! I knew that! I knew the fucking bitch was in cahoots with the motherfucker that was in the house. I knew that shit. Why did I look over here? I don't know why I looked over here. I'm still looking over here. I don't. Why am I looking over here? I should be looking. <laughs> I should be looking at y'all. Not over. Why am I looking over here? <laughs> I fucking 
knew it, bro. I fucking knew fucking fuck. Expecting to find her there. It turned out the room Todd had claimed used to be the bedroom she and her ex would share. Mm. She offered to refund me and let us go home if we didn't feel safe. Why? Surprisingly, we agreed to stay the full week, though. What the? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so not only are you playing games, but your whole goddamn friends are playing games. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you this controller because you want to play games and shit. No, here you go. Take this shit. Because you want to play games and whatnot. The landlord is probably a redhead, too. She's probably a natural redhead. You know, because, you know, you redheads, like natural redheads, you know, they be fucking up the most. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I, you know, offended any natural redheads out there. I, I love my redheads. I'm just, I'm just playing around, you know. But... I mean, you know, redheads, they just, they, you know, they, 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 they get you fucked up. Just saying. But, um, really a whole week, a whole, really a whole week. Actually, nothing happened for the rest of the week. Oh. I feel like maybe the man figured that she had moved out. And I do wonder how things would have played out if she was home. I'm gonna need a refund and some with interest. My friends and I were on spring break in Miami. Why? Late at night after hitting the clubs, we were walking back to the hotel. I guess we left super late because I don't remember seeing any people walking around anywhere besides the three of us. Wow. Then a black car with tinted windows and blasting music came driving down the street. Okay. It slowed down when it came closer to us. Well, you speed up. When we passed it, it stopped on the side of the road. I told my friends, don't look back, just keep walking. Okay. We came to an alleyway that we could cut across to get to our hotel. Oh, shit. So we took it. Wow. As the three of us were halfway down the alleyway, we literally saw shadows of people behind us on the ground. Damn. Exposed by an overhead alleyway light. We turned. And there were three guys walking behind us. I whispered at my friends to pick up the pace. We all knew it without saying it that those guys were most likely the ones in that black car. Yeah. My two friends were wearing heels, so trying to run wouldn't exactly work. Um. The fuck? Are you? I mean, are you that stupid, or are you? You just don't care. You know. You can you can just take off the fucking heels and run barefooted. What the fuck? I, don't, I, I honestly don't think I I really don't think I really think that people don't be thinking about shit in, in like the heat of the moment or like you know in, in like in just that in that in that moment in, in a in a uh, all of a sudden moment or like a um, if you find yourself in a fucked up situation. Oh, get the fuck off me. I'm sorry, I felt I felt something. Fuck is that? Let me catch a motherfucking spider in here, and I guarantee you I'm out this house. But yeah, just see. See, I hate that. I hate when I feel something on a on a like on my body, like on a like i like like I hate when I feel something. I don't know, like on my on my shoulder or whatever, and then now I feel like it's shit all over me now. Fuck. Um, but yeah, take off the motherfucking heels and just run barefooted. You can't. Can can you not do that? Huh? But yeah, I really feel like people don't be thinking about shit in 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 a, in, in a fucked up situation or like, you know, like I said, in the heat of the moment or like or or like when something all of a sudden happens and they can't really think on their feet. And just saying, the two people that you was with, if they had on Adidas, well, if they had like Adidas DNA in them and they was running barefooted, they would, they, they, they would have been sick. They would have been six miles out in six seconds. One of the guys called out to us to stop. What? That only made us go even faster. Okay. The next thing we knew, one of them was grabbing my shoulder and forcing me to stop. Get the fuck off. My friend Gina screamed so loud it could probably be heard for a mile. 
Right. I screamed in a panic too, as I hit the guy with my bag repeatedly. A couple other guys came in response to the commotion from the opposite end of the alleyway and told the three guys to back off. The three seemed to realize the fight wasn't worth it and walked away. I've never been so happy to be white knighted in my life. The two guys who saved us tried escorting us back to our hotel. Ah, uh, don't hush. We were close enough now. No. We wanted nothing to do with guys we didn't know at that point. Exactly. We made it safely back and went home the next morning. For spring break. I went somewhere most college students don't go for that oh-so-coveted week of the year. I went snowboarding in Colorado. Ah, damn. My friend Kevin has a house there, so I took a flight with him, and we took an Uber to his house. Wow! I think Mr. Nightmare's recent video, like the, the video he did before this, was Uber. Ha! Ah, that's really funny. That's ironic like a motherfucker. I don't like Ubers. I don't like Lyft. I barely like taxis. You know? So the fact that this motherfucker took took an Uber, it's just, I felt, that shit crazy. It was a lot of uphill driving through the snowy mountains of Colorado that I honestly can't even name. Right. Kevin's family is loaded, so they have houses in multiple states. Oh, shit. What's up? We pulled up to a huge property. What a party is. Snow was covering everything, so I couldn't see anything but his house, really. Right. We didn't plan on snowboarding that day, as the sun was already going down, and we had two long days ahead of us anyway. Kevin had to unlock everything in the house. It had been a month since he had come last. Kevin made a couple frozen pizzas that were left in the freezer, and we ate those for dinner. The rest of the night, we just drank and played video games. Okay. The house had a beautiful main floor that sat with the ground level outside. Kevin didn't keep any of the blinds shut because he said the closest neighbor was about half a mile away. I don't care if that motherfucker is six miles out. I don't care if your closest neighbor is fucking, I don't know, a couple of states away from you. If you got blinds, curtains, all that, close them sons of bitches. Okay, please. I mean, it's not, it's not that hard. You just, and that's it. Okay, so now he's on some bullshit. Got you. It was definitely a pretty private property. That's why when we both heard a thump at the window, it was that much more bone chilling. Both our heads jolted to the window like an animal that just heard a predator approaching. <laughs> We paused the game and walked over to the window that that thump just came from. <laughs> wow. Of course, we couldn't see anything outside because it was pitch black and snowing outside. But we did, however, see a distinct handprint on the glass Damn. that came from the other side. Shit. Needless to say, we were both spooked. Kevin wanted to go out there with a couple batons that his dad kept under his bed upstairs. What the fuck? I told him that's a stupid idea. Exactly. But he seemed more angry than anything at this point that someone would trespass on his property and invade our privacy like that. So he convinced me to go with him. Oh, no. We threw back on our coats and boots and into the snow we went. That makes me... When people do that shit, that makes me think that 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 you're really... You're scared shitless. You know, why can't you go out there and check your damn self? Why well, I gotta go with you, huh? Why you... Uh huh? Why I gotta go with you? Why I can't stay in this house and lock everything in this motherfucking house? Huh? Huh? Why I gotta go with you? Huh? You don't got no answer? Fuck. <laughs> that shit is so funny when Dashie does that. You be like... Um, but yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not going with you. So you go, how about you, how, how, how about this? How about, now, hear me out, okay? Hear me out on this. How about you go out there, check it yourself, stop, shut the fuck up, and we talk, okay? How about you go out there, check it yourself, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is, whatever, right? And then after you go outside, I'm gonna go ahead and close the curtains, Right? I'm going to lock everything. 
and uh, Gia. And uh, if the, you know if everything is a okay, and you trying to get back inside, well, you not coming back inside because that was your fault. Just saying. I followed him since he was holding the lantern. Yes, he had a lantern instead of a flashlight. God damn. We went to the side of his house. I found myself almost slipping and falling, walking the slight uphill several times. He turned down a light on the side of his house, which lit up the area by the window where we heard the thump. If our suspicion of being watched wasn't already confirmed, then it was when we saw the two-way footsteps in the snow leading to and from the window. We started to follow them. They led into a small patch of woods, and we continued to follow. At this point, I asked Kevin if we should just forget about it. He didn't even answer me, so I knew to shut up. The footsteps left a small patch of woods and entered a clearing. Kevin stopped me and muttered, What the fuck is that? Mm -mm. In the very near distance, there appeared to be these identical objects spaced out evenly. There were four of them. They stood tall like a person. Kevin took a few more steps forward, leaned his upper body in to take a closer look, I guess. Fuck you, Kevin. turned to me and said, let's get the fuck out of here. Like the man. I hurried back with him, asking what he thinks those things were. He said, I don't know, but they look like human silhouettes strung up on some kind of sticks. The words that came out of his mouth shook me. I never felt more relieved than when we got back to his house. This time he shut every blind in the house and double-checked all the doors. Oh, really? Huh? Morning, oh. First thing we did was walk back over to that clearing. What the fuck? We walked around it for about ten minutes, searching. We didn't find any bodies or anything like that. But we did find four big wooden poles, almost identical in size. We had zero explanation for this whole scenario. It was bizarre, and it was downright disturbing. We had to debate whether to even go snowboarding that day. And we did. But I can't say I wasn't thinking about what we saw the night before the entire day. Fuck you, Kevin. Fuck all of you. Last year, I went to Miami for spring break. Why? A few days before I went, I had a horrible dream. Okay. I was playing video games in my basement when I heard a noise come from a closet. I walked over to the closet and opened it. Quite simply, there was a man with a distinct face I remember vividly in my head, just standing in there. It was like my brain playing a jump scare on me in my dream, because I woke up with my heart racing. Well, fast forward our first day on spring break in Miami. Damn! I know this is just... I don't know. God damn, that's a lot of people. Shit. I don't know if this is like a Photoshop. Or this image is actually real. Because if it is, oh my god. God. Damn. That's a lot of people. And that's a lot of people just all up on you. Like, I need my fucking personal space. I need arms reach. I don't, like, if, if, if I do this and I can touch you, back the fuck up. We were on South Beach, and there were thousands of people. Jesus. In fact, you could hardly walk. What I'm saying? I was with my friends, of course, who were probably having more fun than me, since I'm not the biggest fan of crowds. Me, yeah. All I saw around me besides my friends were unfamiliar faces, until I saw this one guy, not dancing, not moving, just standing behind a couple people, but looking at me. Oh, that's fucking weird, bro. You ever... I, I don't... Mm -mm, I have never... Mm -mm, I'm thinking... Thinking, thinking, nope, I have never been in a situation like that where I'm dancing or like I'm having a good time, I'm laughing, smiling, all that, and the people around me are doing the same thing, we just all having a good time, dancing, laughing, smiling, you know, all that, but that one person is just like, just staring you down, just... That's fucking weird, bro. Like, I have never been in a situation like that. But if you have, let me know about your, you know, your experience because I can just imagine how creepy. Ew, I spit everywhere. <laughs> I can just imagine how creepy that is and how, how just sus 
that is like somebody in some somebody like that in a situation like that in a, in an area like that everybody having a good time drinking you know laughing smiling all that right but you got that one person that that's just staring you down standing still not moving an inch somebody like that is he ouch fuck somebody like that is equivalent to a grown ass man or woman going to a going to a movie theater full of kids or a grown ass man or woman going to a playground full of kids and that motherfucker is just talking about some just staring the kids down. Like, that's weird, yo. I made eye contact with him for maybe three seconds before that, looking away and moving closer to my friends. That's too long, three seconds. I told one of my friends that some older man was just staring at me like a creep. When we looked at where he was standing, he was gone. Wow. The five of us migrated closer to the water and music, where the crowd got even thicker and the people seemed to get drunker. Wow. I was looking around when once again, I saw that man blending in with the crowd, but just looking at me. What the hell? I looked at him for a few seconds again. I grabbed my friend Trish and pointed at the man and said, that guy keeps looking at me. She said, just ignore it. She went back to dancing. Ignore my ass. This, I, I tried to ignore it one time, okay? Two times, this motherfucker is still looking at me, staring me down, looking at me in my soul, talking about some. There's literally thousands of people here. And he's and I'm the only person that he's looking at? Get the fuck... You talking about ignore it. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going back to... I don't know if they're staying at a hotel, at a beach house. But I'm going to go back to, uh, you know, the beach house. Y'all I mean, can go ahead and, you know, stay here, have a good time. I'm going to go back to the beach house. Um, Yeah. So, and you talking about ignore it. Get the fuck out. I started getting this sickly feeling in my stomach about it. Right. So I ran through the crowd and looked back every few seconds. I knew I'd seen that man's face before, but I couldn't put my finger on where just yet. He a serial killer. I made it through the crowd and got back to the hotel room. He a murderer. I sat on the bed with my hand on my head, gathering my thoughts. He a pedophile. Then it hit me. What is he? What? I felt like throwing up when I realized it. What? What? It was the man from my dream. The man what? who was in the closet. What the fuck? Yo, are we on some, what is it called? Not Matrix. What's that movie called? It was like everything was just upside down. Or not upside down, but like, what is that? Oh my God. What is it called? What is that movie called? It reminds me of the Matrix, but it's not the Matrix. And I know, I know Le, Le, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was in it. Looper? I don't know what it was called. But it's, 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 it's like that. Like, that shit's weird. Oh, get the fuck. It, so he wasn't dreaming. What the hell? I texted my friend Trish and waited a few minutes for her to answer. She said she didn't see who I was pointing at earlier. She just thought I should ignore whoever it was. I went back out there and didn't see the man again. But I swear this is something that actually happened to me. And I still don't know how to explain it. I got plenty of sleep. I don't think I could have hallucinated seeing that man. But how could I see a man who had literally been in a dream I had a couple nights before? It is easily the scariest and most unreal thing that's ever happened to me in my life. What the fuck? I can only think that he was on some shit. Like, he was on. He was... Either he was drinking too much. You know, he was... He was probably injecting. I don't know. He was... He probably popped some pills. He was probably high as hell. I don't really know. But that shit's weird. Like, that motherfucker was in your dream. 
And then you woke the fuck up. Went into and came back into reality. See? Fucking pop one. I'm sorry. Came back into reality. And now you saw that motherfucker in real life? Come on. That shit's weird, bro. I feel like you definitely was on some shit. Unless that motherfucker that you saw in real life was not real and he was on some paranormal shit. But I mean need I mean what is it called? Needless to say. It was you was right to get the hell out of there. You know? Now I probably would've I probably would have dipped. I know I know for a fact I would have dipped when I saw old dude from my dream in real life. Yeah, I would have got the fuck up out of them. Off bucks. First chance I got. So, I mean, you know. The, my, this video, this spring break is kind of like, uh, it's kind of like perfect because I feel like some, some students are either currently on spring break or they're about to be on spring break. So, this is like kind of perfect. Um... And whether, you know, whether whether or not you are on break or not, it's still, it's still, you know, the, 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 the rule, the, uh, what is it called, the, uh, the red flag rules still, still exists, you know. You still, you still gotta watch your motherfucking back. You know, you, you still, you still gotta, You're not, I mean, just because you're on spring break or winter break or summer break, just because you're on break doesn't mean that you you have you, you get to let down your guard. If anything, you need to up your guard, okay? Because, you know, a lot of sus people out there, a lot of creepy motherfuckers, weirdos, you know, a lot of fuckies out there. They know exactly when spring break starts, summer break starts, you know. They know when your break starts and they waiting. They waiting on your ass. So that's why I suggest you get yourself some Adidas. Oh, and I might as well even say this, you know. Spring break, summer break. You might as well go ahead and get you some, you know, Adidas, you know, swim shoes, swimming trunks. Um, for the females out there, a two piece, a one piece, you know. Um, probably like a Adidas, like goggles, swimming, swimming goggles. Um, probably like the whole shit where like you breathing through the shit, get, 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 you know, get that shit, make sure it's Adidas. <laughs> right. Uh, hold up, let me know. Adidas beach ball, Adidas shovel for the sand. Um, just make sure you have on Adidas. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Anything Adidas, just make sure, you know. And uh, if you can, this is like much, much obliged. I really don't know what obliged means, but I feel like it's the right I used it in the right context. Just up your senses, you know. Just because you you're on, you're on break doesn't mean you get to like, you know. All right, cool. I don't have to like watch out for nothing. Yes, you do, bitch. Yes, you do. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here that know when, you know, your break starts and they're just waiting on your waiting on your life. So, yeah. Yeah. Just saying. What the fuck? Uh, okay. <laughs> it would be dope if, like, Mr. Nightmare actually shouted me out in a video. That would be fucking clutch. That would be dope as hell. But I feel like that's never gonna happen. So, it is what it is. Keep it cool. Hey, if you're on break right now, or you're about to be on break, live it up. But at the same time, keep your guard up. Hey, that rhyme. 
But don't call me a rapper though. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy. My family.